You're watching Homegirl Creates with me, Adora. Does this look like a girl who would have an ugly exercise bike in her living room? Yeah, I don't think so. This is a girl that can peel out in the driveway and leave marks with her tires. So tell me, do you got one of these ugly machines in your living room? Maybe you got laundry hanging on it? Let's do something about it, shall we? We all know this is where I gain at. So homeboy took the panels off for me so I could paint it easier. You wanna see what the guts look like? Have you ever seen the inside of your exercise bike? Check it out. I will be using Debbie's DIY paints. How many shades of gray can one have? an ugly exercise bike I ask you none for me let's add some extra electra give me such a pretty blue color look at it Aww, I love it I painted these sections with paint blue. It's a pale blue. Some simple little daisies. I remember the first time I learned how to ride a two-wheeler bicycle. My older brother brought me in the house because it was a Minnesota winter. And he showed me how to ride it around the kitchen table. <laughs> In the kitchen, in the house. Who else learned how to ride a bike in the house? So by springtime, when I went outside with my bike and had my little cute shorts on and my little purple bike, I fell down, I scunned my knees. I wasn't gonna ride that thing again. It was safer in the kitchen. When I was a little bit older, both my brothers and I would ride boys' bikes out in the cow pastures. We'd follow the cow trails tearing up in the mud and bouncing off the rocks. And then when I was a teenager, I motorized it. I rode a Honda motorcycle and changed the irrigation pipes with my dad. I'm gonna mix up kind of my own color with some painter leaves. There's no rhyme and reason here. There's no recipe. I don't measure things. Y'all know that by now. Just squirt some colors in there and see what happens. Now, I didn't know when I started this project they were releasing new colors. I went and mixed my own. You know when those other Jamie Ray vintage colors come out, I'm gonna get all those too, right? But I had these left over for my chair project. I have to use them up, right? Plus, any excuse to get more paint is always, you know, a good idea. Add a little sea glass to the paint color I just mixed up and made a little extra turquoise into it. Add a couple of colors on your paintbrush and then just paint little leaves. Twist the brush a little bit as you go up and down. Easy, easy, right? Covered it in vintage pink. I went ahead and Added some cowgirl coral to the vintage paint. I love it now. Let's stir up some white linen 
and marquee. I can't wait to see what new colors they're coming out with. Maybe a little bit more marquee. Make it a little darker. I made a mixture of white linen and aviary and it gave me this sage green color. I use it for the leaves all throughout this project. Add a little pennies from heaven for that extra little glam bling touch. That looks like a bird. Does it look like a bird beak in his eyes? Oops, they're missing their head. That looks kind of like a fish. Yeah, it still looks like a fish to me. Almost there. Can I do something about that seat though? So I took the canvas off and cover it in a pillowcase. Pair of scissors, hot glue gun. Here we go. So I shoved it in the pillowcase. I'm a, that's not gonna be enough. I'm gonna have to do some work here. Using my glue gun, I'm going to hold and tuck. I didn't want to get out the sewing machine, then I have to be more precise. I ain't got time for that. I need to get my game on so I can exercise, apparently. So I just used hot glue all the way around. Maybe you could have ironed it. Oops. Better already. But we ain't done. What if we added some crochet ribbon? Ooh, ooh, and some ruffly coral ribbon. Yeah. And a little copper ribbon. Oh yes, I did. Let's go. Let's get our Animal Crossing game on. And exercise on this new pretty ah, upgraded exercise bike.